Hello, in this video we're going to look at doing a Crystal Wallace test using SPSS, specifically using the legacy dialog options. There are, we're going to follow the instructions in Chapter 9 of the textbook and you might want to have that open uh, next year as you watch this video. We're also going to use the example data from that chapter and um, it's on uh, nitrogen levels in reed beds, in three different sites in a reed bed. Here is the data file in front of us now and you can either have made this yourself uh, and there's a separate help sheet and, data, and a video on, on data entry in SPSS or you can have downloaded the pre-prepared data file from the online resource centre. Before we get into the analysis per se, we're just going to spend a moment looking at the data file. Here we've got our independent variable in this column, our site, one, two, and three. And the, this is the number, this is what we entered into, would have entered into SPSS, the number codes. And if we want to see the value labels that went with them, we go to view and switch the value labels on. Nitrogen is a dependent variable and it's in this column. Very important that you lay out your data in this way uh, to do a, um, the Criscoll Wallace test. You might want to just check what's happening in variable view. You can assign roles to the variables because you do have a dependent and independent variable here. Um, I've set them to none. I think that's slightly better to show you how to use SPSS for uh, Crystal Wallace. If you want to know more about roles, look at the data entering um, help sheets videos and in fact the appendix of a book on it. Okay, let's crack on with the analysis. We go to analyze and we're using the legacy dialog boxes. So we go to non-parametric legacy dialogues and we've got k uh, independent samples meaning uh, two or more independent samples um, we've got uh, you'll see it when it comes up it'll look like this with site and nitrogen your variables here we want to stick your independent variable in the grouping variable box and your dependent variable in this case nitrogen content in the test variable list we need to get rid of those question marks under grouping variable so we'll define range for this, we know that we used one for the code for our lowest uh, was our lowest code that we used, and three was the highest code that we used. We're all set. We just kept Crystal Wallace is selected, and we're all set to do a Chris get the computer to do a Crystal Wallace test for us. And there it is, blink of an eye. We've got our um, sample sizes. We've got our degrees of freedom. Uh, we've got our statistic, and we've got our p-value. So everything there to report for a Crystal Wallace test. That's it. You're done.